The REIT earnings season is now coming to an end and the results have been overwhelmingly positive. Most REITs continue to grow their cash flow and even hike their dividends, which proves once again that the fears of rising interest rates have been greatly exaggerated. The reality is that REIT balance sheets are today the strongest they've ever been with low loan to values of just around 30% on average, debt maturity is also long and well staggered at about 7 years on average, and rents continue to grow in most property sectors. This rent growth impacts 100% of the the assets on the balance sheet but the rising interest expense only impacts about a third of the balance sheet and as a result cash flows keep on growing and so do dividend payments. For this reason I think that REITs are today offering a historic opportunity and I expect to accumulate more of them in April of 2024. Hey everyone this is Jussi I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing in today's video I want to talk to you about two of my favorite REITs to buy at the moment. But before I get into it I wanted to remind you that I plan to soon post several interviews of REIT management teams on this channel so if you don't want to miss those make sure to subscribe to the channel and also if you want to support me it really help me a lot if you click the like button thank you so much in advance so the first read i'm going to discuss here is one of my largest european read investments it's called big yellow group ticker symbol b y g this is the leading self-storage read in europe and especially in the uk it is similar to extra space storage and public storage in the us but it's today still about 20 times smaller in size i have previously said that i try to buy more shares of Big Yellow whenever its dividend yield is above 4% and today its dividend yield is about 4.5% and adjusted for a coming dividend hike later this year it's actually even closer to 5% at the moment. 4.5 to 5% may not sound so much to some of you who are used to buying REITs like EPR properties that offer an 8% dividend yield but here you need to remember that Big Yellow Group is one of the fastest growing REITs in the world and when you take that into account its yield is exceptionally high today. Historically it's been able to grow its FF per share which is the equivalent of the cash flow per share in the REIT sector by about 11% per year on average and I think that they will be able to maintain a, an over 10% growth rate for a long time to come. That's because the self storage market is still at its infancy in Europe and opportunities are today abundant. Right now there is still about 10 times less storage space per capita in the UK than in the US and about 40 times less in continental Europe than in the US and yet the concept is now rapidly growing in popularity and this is allowing Big Yellow Group to develop new properties and it's able to earn close to 10% initial yields on cost which represents a large spread over its cost of capital. Just as a reminder this is the exact model that allows allowed American self-storage REITs to earn roughly 20% average annual total returns of the past 30 years and now Big Yellow Group is replicating that in Europe. So why has its stock dipped over the past month? It appears to me that what happened here is that the market was disappointed in the company's growth rate in 2023 and as a result its share price has dipped quite a bit lower. I'll put a chart on the screen right now where you'll see that it grew its FFO per share by about 7.6% in 2023 which is below its historic average. But there are three important things to consider here. The first thing is that the 7.6% growth rate is still a very solid growth rate for a rate that's priced at just around 16 to 17 times FFO and offering a near 5% dividend yield. Historically, Big Yellow has commonly traded at closer to 30 times FFO and it's true that the 7.6% growth rate may be a bit too slow for a read that's priced at such a high valuation but again, its share price has crashed and so today the expectation should be quite a bit lower. If you're earning a 5% dividend yield, all it takes is about 5% to reach double digit total returns and Big Yellow is outperforming that. Secondly, it's important to consider that 2023 was a bit of a slower year for Big Yellow simply because 2022 was an exceptionally strong year for the company. It was able to grow its FFO per share by 23% in 2022 as the company re-emerged from the pandemic and as a result it faced some churn in 2023. As a reminder, the leases are relatively short in the, in the storage space. They are only about 9 months long on average and so it's natural to lose some of your clients after such a strong year in 2023. 2022. And then thirdly, there were also a few macro factors that need to be taken into account here. Russia invaded Ukraine and that caused all economies in Europe to suffer. The British economy even dipped into a recession in 2023. And then secondly, interest rates surged. And while Big Yellow doesn't have much debt, it has a very strong balance sheet with just a 16% LTV. A lot of that has a variable rate. And as a result, it was still impacted. 
So all things considered, I would argue that a 7.6% growth rate in its FFO per share is quite exceptional. It's very strong given that this was one of the toughest years in a decade for European REITs. The growth rate of REITs is never perfectly consistent and that really shouldn't be the expectation because, well, real estate is a cyclical sector. It's all based on supply and demand, especially in sectors like self-storage where leases are relatively short. And then on top of that, REITs like Big Yellow are developing a lot of properties. And so some years they're focusing on building the next assets and some other years they're in the lease up phase. And so then you see a bump in the FFO per share. As a result, it's not uncommon for them to grow one year by 7% and the next year by 15%. What matters is the average. And on average, I think that Big Yellow is set to continue growing at a rapid pace over the coming years as it currently has many new development projects on the way. Right now, it's building 11 new facilities, which would expand its capacity by about 15 to 20%. And the company also already has about the same amount of space already built out and not fully leased yet. These development projects coupled with some organic growth in same property NOI and a drop in interest rates should allow the company to grow its FFO per share at a high single digit rate or even a low double digit rate in the coming years. Despite that, the rate is today priced at about 16 and a half times FFO, an estimated 20% discount to its NAV and a near 5% dividend yield, which is one of the lowest valuations I've seen in this market for REITs that are growing at this rapid pace. Therefore, I think that the risk to reward is particularly compelling here for long-term oriented investors who can see that the market is now overreacting to short-term use. It's overreacting to the slower growth rate of 2023. But you should realize here that real estate should be priced based on decades of expected future cash flow. And if you do that, you'll probably agree with me that Big Yellow is today undervalued. As interest rates return to lower levels and Big Yellow's growth rate reaccelerates in the coming years, it wouldn't surprise me if its FFO multiple recovers closer to 25 times FFO, which is still on the lower side for historically for Big Yellow and yet that would unlock up to 50% upside potential from here. For these reasons, I recently bought more shares of Big Yellow and I expect to keep accumulating more of it in April of 2024. Before I go into the second rate, if you think that this content is valuable to you, it will really mean a lot to me if you click the like button as that, that helps me put my channel in front of more eyeballs. Thank you so much in advance. The second read I want to discuss is called Alexandria Real Estate. Its ticker symbol is ARE. This is one of the largest holdings in our retirement portfolio at High Yield Landlord. By the way, if you want to join my read newsletter, High Yield Landlord, there's a tool free trial. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. This will give you access to my entire portfolio right away, even before you're charged for your subscription. In case you're not familiar with Alexandria, this is the only REIT that specializes in life science buildings. And in recent years, it has seen its share price crash because it's been typically grouped with other office REITs. But I have argued in other videos that the life science space is a lot more resilient than the office sector and that it shouldn't be as heavily challenged by the growing trend of remote work. And therefore, Alexandria is quite opportunistic following its recent crash. Well, the company just recently reported its full year results and issued its guidance for 2024. And and this essentially proves my thesis right. The company was able to grow its FFO per share by about 6% in 2023, and it's expecting a roughly 6% growth rate again in 2024. That's far stronger performance than the vast majority of office rates like Boston Properties, SL Green, Mornado, Empire State Realty Trust, and so on. And while it is true that the life science space is also affected by oversupply at the moment, Alexandria is still able to continue growing because it has strong rent escalation in its leases. Its leases also have many years left on them. Its current lease rates are deeply below market. And so when leases expire, it's able to bump up its market rent. And the company owns class A true fee life science buildings and those really aren't in competition with most of the new supply. On top of that, Alexandra is also busy selling some of its non-core assets at 5 to 6% cap rates and is then reinvesting these proceeds into new development projects at closer to 6 to 7% initial yield. So there is a little spread in there. I would also remind you that Alexandria has one of the strongest balance sheets in the entire REIT sector with a triple B plus investment grade rating and roughly 30% LTV or even slightly below that. And its debt maturities are particularly long at 13 years and therefore it's not heavily impacted by the surge in interest rates. The REIT also has one of the best track records in the entire REIT sector 
sector, and not just the REIT sector, but the entire stock market, it has even outperformed companies like Walmart and Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway since going public. Despite that, it's today priced at a similar valuation as many of the office REITs that have much worse track records, weaker balance sheets, and that are suffering declining occupancy, growing vacancy rates, and even declining rents. I think that this is a market inefficiency. I think that Alexandria should be priced at a fairly large premium relative to office REITs, and since that's not the case, I'm a buyer of its shares today. I estimate that the shares are today priced at a roughly 30% discounted net asset value. They're offering a 4.2% dividend yield. They're able to grow their cash flow by about 6% per year. So just the yield and the growth combined together should get you to roughly double digit total returns. And as interest rates return to lower levels and Alexandria keeps proving the market wrong, I expect its valuation multiple to recover closer to its net asset value, which would also unlock about 30 to 40% upside from here, even if you're more conservative with your NAV estimate. But to be clear, there are risks, of course, as well in the life science sector. And one of them that I'm currently researching is what impact is AI going to have on the research and development of new drugs in the future? And could this potentially lead to a drop in the demand for space for life science buildings? If you have any thoughts on this, feel free to comment below and let me know your thoughts. So in April, I plan to buy more shares of Big Yellow Group as well as Alexandria Real Estate and many other rates that I didn't mention in this video. And if you want to access all my trade alerts in real time as well as my current real money portfolio, you can join High Yield Landlord, which is my REIT newsletter for two week free trial. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. And otherwise, once more, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss my upcoming REIT CEO interviews and also click the like button to help the algorithm. Thank you so much in advance and see you at my next one. Bye bye.